This is Mark Bell from SuperTraining.tv, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West, answering more questions today for the Power Project. And speaking of the Power Project, I want to thank you guys for your support out there. The Power Project is only possible due to the success of the Slingshot and due to the success of my magazine, the only strength magazine on the planet, ThePowerMagazine.com. So those of you that are involved, I want to thank you. Those who are not, you read the sign in Super Training, you've probably seen it by now. It says either you're in or you're in the way. <laughs> so if you don't have Power Magazine, make sure you go sign up. There's tons of great information in there on diet, strongman training, powerlifting. Uh, we got John Kiefer in every single issue is writing about nutrition. And he's got the top of the line. He knows all the latest stuff. He's the guy who's researching it. He's the guy who's in the trenches. And he's the guy that helped me knock off 41 pounds and hit a PR this morning weighing 254 pounds. Um, I was, I've been all the way up as high as 330. I worked my way down for a little while. Uh, the last meet I competed in, I was 295. Had a tragic fall. Needed to make some changes. And here I am at 254. And by next month, I will be under 250 pounds which will be the first time I'm under 250 pounds since I was seven years old. <laughs> um, check out Kiefer's information also at dangerouslyhardcore.com. He's got an amazing website. He's got some amazing concepts. Very, 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 very sharp guy. Um, but, like I said, the Power Project's only possible due to the fact that I ain't got a real job and due to the fact that you guys are uh, fired up and excited about the Slingshot and ThePowerMagazine.com. So make sure you sign up. Make sure you have a subscription. We have a digital copy as well as a uh, printed copy. And if something sucks on one of my websites, if something sucks, if something ever sucks, come tell me. Shoot me an email. SuperTraining06 at Yahoo.com if you want to ask a question for the Power Project. SuperTraining06 at Yahoo.com. But I, just like many of you, am trying to make myself better, trying to make my business better, trying to be better all around, all the time. So if I do something that sucks, let me know about it. Let me hear about it. If my webpage sucks, if you can't order something, if you can't figure something out, then tell me about it. And let me fix it the best I can. And hopefully, I can keep improving and improve customer service and improve everything. So it's easier for you guys to get access. Speaking of having access, Jesse Burdick and myself, in collaboration with somebody else, may be, uh, we might be, putting together a uh, consulting firm. <laughs> I wouldn't say firm, but we might be putting together some consulting for you guys, uh, for diet, um, for, uh, for training, and for the whole nine yards. Um, I'm going to let you guys know more about that. It will not be free because it will be much more time consuming than what I'm doing here at the Power Project, which is already time consuming. But for those of you who need extra help, for those of you who need a kick in the ass, for those of you who need somebody to actually physically walk you through something, we will provide that for you. We will do all the thinking for you and you just sit there and be a zombie and you just train and not worry about anything else. We'll do all your programming for you. We'll do all your diet for you. You don't have to think about crap. I also want to give a shout out to my boy, John Gaglioni. I think his website's gaglionestrength.com. I can't remember. Sorry, Gags. Anyway, Gags destroyed me and Burdick in a pie eating contest back on the East Coast. And now, Gaglioni, Gags, is destroying. Uh, his body fat. He has lost about 45 pounds, I think, and I wanted to congratulate him. Uh, he's, a, he's a couple steps ahead of me. I lost 41. He's lost 45. So, Gags, congratulations on kicking my ass in the pie eating contest, and congratulations in kicking ass and losing weight. Those are big steps. Speaking of diet, I'm getting, getting a ton of questions about diet. Um, had one recently about coconut oil. How do I utilize coconut oil? I basically just scoop it throughout the day, probably three or four times. I also cook with it. I cook eggs. I cook meat. If you don't love the flavor of it, then just use a little bit of it when you cook with it. Or 
just cut everything out, cut out the middleman as I call it, and just dig deep and just take a nice scoop full and, and get it over with and guzzle down some water with it or whatever. Some other products I've been taking lately, I take some stuff for electrolytes, uh, stuff called Noon, N-U-U-N. You can get it at a hippie store. You can also take something like Emergency. Emergency is uh, basically a, just basically a mix of vitamins and minerals and things like that to keep your body hydrated. Um, I've been a big fan of that on a low carb because it's hard to hold on to any water when you're not eating any carbohydrates. And so uh, that has really helped me. I have not had one cramp this, this entire summer, and that's rare for me. I almost always cramp up. So those types of products can be pretty effective. Um, we had a couple other... Oh, one thing about the... Uh, about the coconut oil. I also made a weird little mixture bomb of, uh, of fat and, co and uh, fiber and protein. I took uh, almond butter, coconut butter. Coconut butter is fantastic, by the way. If you don't have some, look into it. It's a great product. It has MCTs in it, just like the coconut oil does. And it has fiber. But uh, you got, uh, I mixed almond butter, coconut butter, and cashew butter. And threw in some coconut oil. And I stuck that baby in the fridge. I uh, just mixed up a little bit of it, probably like a, I don't know, quarter cup of it or something. Mixed that baby up, threw her in the fridge, and it all solidified, all hardened, because coconut oil is a saturated fat. And when it gets cold, it will solidify. So I had this solid mass of like buttery substance, and it was amazing. So you, f you figure out things like that when you're on a diet because. You can't eat all the yummy, 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 yummy stuff. Um, all the uh, all the little treats and all the stuff that I really love, like ice cream and pizza and uh, Reese's peanut butter cups and things like that. By the way, respond to this video and tell me what your favorite candy is. Mine is peanut butter cups. I love the big cup. I'm addicted. I could eat about 40 of them if I wanted to. Maybe, maybe more. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe I'm, I'm talking out my ass, too. Maybe I can't eat that many. Maybe I'd puke. But I love them. Let me know what your favorite one is. Also, we have a question, or we have a cliffhanger question, which we haven't had in a little while. And this one is, uh, this one's going to be a little bit tough. And uh, I'll actually just go ahead and give away, uh, let me see, what should I give away? Hmm. Slingshot? Did I hear someone say slingshot? I'll give away a free slingshot. I will give away a free slingshot of your choice. You can pick any one. I never give away the Mad Dog slingshot because it costs me the most to make. But I will give you any slingshot that you want if you can answer this question correctly for me. And it goes to the first person that answers this correctly. Who is Mitch Cumstein? You get no clue. You get no hint. Who is Mitch Cumstein? <laughs> Not an easy question to answer. I will give you one hint, and it'll just be this. Baby Ruth. There you go. There's your hint. Speaking of candy, how about a Baby Ruth? Those are pretty good. I don't like things with too, that are too nutty like that, though. Um, Butterfingers rule, but they always end up all over your clothes. <laughs> Butterfingers are fantastic, but they always end up all over the place. I used to love a bar called a Bar Nun. That thing was amazing, but it somehow got like discontinued or something. Me and my brothers were so sad. That's how fat we are. This is like in the, this is like in the early '90s, um, and then everybody knows, of course, Ben and Jerry's amazing. A little tip on Ben and Jerry's: you can eat normally, you can eat double the amount of ice cream if you buy like a like a half gallon thing of ice cream. You buy a bigger portion of ice cream. Um, you buy something like briars or dryers or whatever the hell as long as you're not buying something one of those little pints you can eat double the amount of ice cream double the amount of ice cream uh, to equal the same amount of calories that's in a Ben and Jerry's thing and I know the Ben and Jerry I'm gonna say if you're gonna eat ice cream then go ahead and just eat ice cream eat whatever one you like the met the best because ice cream will always be unhealthy for you nothing you can really do about that but if uh, you know, if, if you had to, uh, if, if you wanted to try to, you know, just eat a lot of ice cream and keep the calorie count down, you'd want to go with something a little bit different. Anyway, what the hell was I talking about? Oh, diet. We were talking about diet, weren't we? Uh, I just started to implement some cardio recently, some fasted cardio. 
Uh, in John Kiefer's opinion, that's the second best form of cardio. He likes cardio and then weights. He thinks that's the most effective way. Why he thinks that, I don't know, it might be opinion, might be based on knowing him. It's based on fact and based on re tons of research, I bet. But uh, I do some fasted cardio. What that means is I wake up in the morning. First thing in the morning, I you know get myself ready and I hit the gym. Just a little local, uh, little local ferry gym that I go to. And uh, I throw on my uh, my tank top. You gotta have a tank. You gonna go to a commercial gym? You better either have a sleeveless shirt or a tank top. There's no other way to roll in there. And I uh, got my headphones on and I listen to uh, listen to some Mariah Carey and uh, and stuff like that. And I I just crank at it and I go at it. But somebody asked me what type of cardio I'm doing. I'm doing fasted state cardio. It's easy. I get my heart rate up to about 120 beats. I just stick my hand on the thing. It tells me how many beats I got. And um, <clears throat> I maintain that for 20 to 30 minutes. Pretty simple. I pick a bike. I pick a, uh, sometimes a, um, a treadmill. Sometimes I haven't used the elliptical at all yet, but a recumbent bike. Didn't like the recumbent bike. Felt too lazy. Felt too awkward. Felt too weird. So I'm usually on a bike, which is good for my knee good for rehabbing my knee, and uh, or I'm also on a, uh, a treadmill. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it for all the questions. The Power Project. Who is Mitch Cumstein? Win a free slingshot. And that is it from supertraining.tv.